Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. plugs in it and the PCB valve, um, the plugs in the car still the plugs from when the car was turboed so the car runs like crap and it has a slight misfire because of it and we're gonna wash the whole car because I didn't get to do it last time so yeah we're gonna head up to O'Reilly's and get all the car wash stuff that they didn't have last time I went up there and Get the car looking clean on the outside, clean up these wheels and everything, and put some plugs and a piece of valve in it. The wires are still good. I put them on just before I boosted the car, so they're in good shape. So, let's head up to a rallies. All right, guys, so I picked up everything I'm going to need to wash the car. Um, got the tire shine, some for the wheels, and just sponges and rags and a bucket and soap. So, once this focuses, because it doesn't focus as well. Um, yeah, so everything's there. We're going to head back to the house and start washing this car.
two quarters all cleaned up now. Nice and washed. <coughs> this paint is really dull on it, so it don't really shine much. But it's a hundred times better than what it was. And that is good enough for me. So, obviously once the car gets, like this gets finished on the car and it gets painted, it'll look a lot better. And that's will dull the paint. But we cleaned the wheels, put some tire shine on it. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. <clears throat> so now we're going to go ahead and throw the spark plugs in it and throw the PCB valve in it. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and change the spark plugs out and the PCB valve. Um, all you need for this is an extension, a ratchet, and a 5 8 socket for spark plugs. Here's my plugs and everything. Just gonna set them right here for now. First thing I'm gonna go ahead and change is the PCB valve since it's easier. Very simple, just pull it out like so. And then there's a little clamp here. Sometimes you can just squeeze it by hand and get it out. In this case I can't. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pair of pliers. Got some pliers. Squeeze the clamp. Screw the wrong down. Usually on hoses, you'll want to grab them and twist whatever you're trying to get off. Sometimes they get stuck in there, and just like so, it comes off. And here's the new one. You just reverse the process. <coughs> Put it on here. Like so. Go ahead and grab the clamp. Move it on up. And it also debates on what kind of clamp. If it's the OEM clamp, will be one of these push ones. If it's been replaced, then it'll have either the, the screw on it for flathead or Phillips or both. Then you just push that back in. That go ahead and take care of that one. <coughs> now we'll go ahead and do the spark plugs. Let's go ahead and pull the wires off. Another quick trick for this, you can actually just use your your wires and pull the plugs out just like that. As you can see, I don't know if it's focusing on that, but these are kind of burnt out. So these are what I had in it from the turbo. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. <clears throat> I'm not gonna put them back in it, but I'm gonna keep them so if we do decide to go turbo again, <clears throat> I know which kind of spark plugs to get. Just grab your wires for each cylinder. And pull those plugs out. Yep, look how bad these ones are. Pretty fouled out. <coughs> these are new ones I'm putting them in. I'm gonna go ahead and put new, these new ones in there. So these should be a lot better than <coughs> what's in there now. Or was in there actually. And I already went ahead and <coughs> pre gapped them where I wanted them. Put your old ones usually in the box so they're not just laying around. It's easier to store them or dispose of them. And you can tell the difference from an old and new plug. So, yep. <clears throat> And these don't have to be super tight or snug, there's no torquing them down or anything. Just run it until you feel it where it gets tight. Just give a little nudge, and you should be good from there. Those were the 
front flukes for the turbo setup. And um, there were gap for the turbo. So they made the car run like crap. So now I just put some stock OEM style plugs in it. Should be running better now. Just go ahead and reassemble the wires. Spark plugs on a four cylinder. So certain cars, like if it's a V6, I would recommend doing it one by one unless you're really knowledgeable about cars. But on most Hondas that are four cylinders, it's pretty simple. Cylinder one is always by your spark plug or by your timing belt or timing chain, depending on what your vehicle has. And so you'll start one over for four cylinders. But that's it, all that's on. Let's go ahead and start her up. There she goes, she's on and running. A lot smoother. Before it had a little misfire to it. Take you guys with me over here. Car is cold, that's why it's running a little rich. But before, at full operating temperature, she was running close to this because of the plugs being fouled out and the gap and everything. But a lot smoother, there's no misfire or anything like it was before. Alright guys, so um, I told you guys why I changed the spark plugs. I didn't mention why I changed the PCB valve. I'm changing the PCB valve because, first of all, they're like a doll or something. And mine was leaking a little bit. And sometimes when the PCB valves are bad, your car will smoke and burn a little oil. Mine was starting to burn a little oil and smoke. Um, so I went ahead and threw a new one in there just because, like I said, they're cheap. And this could be the cause of it. If not, then it's probably just because the mold, motor's getting old and wore out. Um, and when I rebuilt the motor, we didn't touch the top end of it. So it's whatever was done to it before was done to it before other than machining it I didn't touch valve stem seals I didn't give it a valve job I didn't do new seats do anything in it I literally took apart the motor decked the head and did all the bottom end work to it so <clears throat> but she's been running good um, this motor since I put in I think I put about 24,000 miles on it 26,000 miles in about two years so she's running really good Never had an issue with the running of the motor, just like the little stupid crap that the car's giving me issues the car's giving me. But overall, I'm really happy with my car. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out. Um, hope this video is better than the old video, like the quality, because of the new camera. This would be my first video putting out on it. I'm actually making a video on doing the turbo suck on the S10, so look out for that video. That should be out in a couple days, hopefully. Just got to finish up a few little things. So I work on it every now and then. <clears throat> um, the cord is washed, new plugs, new PCB valve. <clears throat> it's all good, it's all good. So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the notification button so you guys not get notified when I put out a new video. And let people know about me. I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm not trying to, I mean, it's not about the money at all for me on YouTube. I enjoy making these videos, I enjoy editing the videos. It, Talking about editing the videos calms me down, and I like it. And I love working on cars, and I want to share my passion with other people. So I'm not in it for the money whatsoever. It's what I like doing. So hope you guys enjoy it. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.